Hey guys, welcome back to Swatch Fest. How has your week been? I hope it's been super duper great. Um, as you can tell, I'm still in the same apartment, but guess what? We did sign a lease for a house. So I'm very excited about that. We don't move until August 5th. Um, so we're still gonna be in this location. I'll probably still be filming quite a few more videos here. Um, but after that, then I will be in my new location and I think this house is gonna have a beauty room for me. We'll have to see. It does have enough rooms, but it really depends. Um, you know, it depends on a few things, but we'll see. But that'll be exciting because that means I'll be able to kind of be out of the way and not, you know, feel like the family has to go around all my lighting and filming equipment. I do have one of my main ring lights, which I'm using as my main ring light in this apartment. I usually don't. I usually have more lights around me. That's why it looks so weird in here. Um, but I'm just using one main one, and it's on this big old boom. And so it's just like takes up way a lot of space and so it's obnoxious but so if I do end up I mean I'm pretty much the boss right so if I do end up um, deciding to let myself go ahead and have that room as a beauty room I will have a lot more space to really set up I'm thinking about doing like the whole background with polish I don't know it could be pretty fun so um, anyway, that's coming up very soon, and I was just really, I, everything kind of fell into place like I really thought it would. The house that we liked the most on our first trip out here like a month ago, and um, they said, oh, we already have too many applications for it, don't submit one at this time, we already have the person that we're probably going to go with, and so we didn't. And then, you know, we, we found another one that we liked okay, but that one fell through as well, so then when we were looking this last weekend, um, or actually it was on Monday, the house happened to pop up again and we went ahead and jumped on it and it worked out just perfectly. So yay, I'm really excited about that and mostly this week I've just been filming, trying to get things edited for you. I have so much content. I know I always say that you guys, but um, things have been crazy with looking for a house, but now that we have it found, I think I have a lot more time that I'm gonna be able to edit all the content I wanna bring you. We're gonna be looking at a collection from L'Oreal, Virago Varnish, pretty serious. Still the square hue is coming, and I have an unboxing for that PMS box that I was talking to you guys about. And then I'm still in the mail expecting the Essie Neons and the Calorista Carol Hitchhiking Adventure Collection. So much stuff coming in for you guys, so really excited about that. Let's go ahead and start talking about the polishes for this week. So I do actually have a red to share with you. I picked this up at Marshalls just the other day. Of course, this is in new Marshalls to me because I'm out here in San Jose. So I never tried this one out and sure enough they have just as much polish as the Marshalls in my old hometown so that was lovely to see. They also have like all of the Hello Kitty collection from OPI so if you never picked that up and you really really wanted to I would suggest looking at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So anyway this is a gorgeous red from OPI. This is called Big Apple Red. Of course we all have lots of reds by now probably from OPI but I picked it up because I needed a red for this week's swatch vest, and I think that OPI does really, really great with the reds, and I wanted to give it a try. So, A plus on this one. This one's kind of a cream Crelly hybrid. It's not quite a Crelly, and but it still has some of the properties. This does still get really nice and opaque at two coats. It's kind of a fiery red, isn't it? It has a little bit of orange in there. I just thought this was delicious. that I didn't bring any lipstick with me and that was still the case for this week. I went home, packed, and I still didn't bring any back. So I went to Sally's and grabbed a few things that was in there that were in their clearance bin. So this is a Palladio Herbal Lip Lacquer and it's called um, Mandarin and I actually don't really recommend this. This is making me feel like I'm a sticky mess. It's just really sliding like all over the place. The color is fun but it looks darker than this because I actually am wearing it over a red base. But so anyway, that's what's on my lips. 
um, let's move on. So also when I was at Marshalls, I picked up a pink because oftentimes I don't have a pink to share with you. And this just looked like my kind of pink. It's a little bit like a dusty rose. It's warm. This is called two hour lunch. Um, that's cute. Um, but yeah, I thought the formula was great. Really, it really just behaved exactly how I hoped it would from Orly. So yeah, a great one. lipstick is gonna just drive me absolutely insane but if you don't ever try anything you're not ever gonna know how it's gonna be so now I know not to pick up any more of these um, okay so for my orange this week I have a cover girl that I picked up at um, Big Locks they have a lot of polish right now like a lot a lot this is called Goldilocks which is funny because it's orange um, this is kind of like a light Hmm, not really a sherbet orange because there's a lot of warmth in here. It's a light yellow orange. This is decent at two coats. Not my favorite thing ever, but if you like this kind of shade, um, you could check your big lots. It might just be there. I did not get my hair done this week. I mentioned that I was going to try to do it while I was back in Palmdale this last week, but it did not get done. We women put our needs on the back burner. Guess who did get their haircuts while we were back there? Um, Tim and Lincoln. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, obviously, it takes way longer to cut and color a woman's hair than a man and a boy, which is why, you know, things happen the way they did. But um, yeah, so still not cut. I definitely want to do something really fun with it, taking it to about here. Um, so yeah, that hopefully will be happening sooner rather than later, but we shall just see, right? I tend to just put things off and put things off, and I don't really want to color my hair while I'm here in this corporate housing because I feel like I'm going to destroy their towels. You know what I need to do? I just need to go pick up a dark towel at Walmart and just have my own and color my hair with it. So that's what I should do. Okay, so well, let's move on to yellow. So this is from Revlon and their Brilliant Strength line. Again, I picked this up at Big Lots and this is called Hypnotize. And I'm happy to say I loved this. This is a super awesome, like warm golden yellow metallic. This goes on great, almost just a one coater, but I did two for you. I really love this. And you know I'm a yellow gold lover. Um, so if you are like me and you spot this, I think this is like a buck 50. I love it when I find nail polish at um, Big Lots. And by the way, I am still finding this lipstick is just driving me crazy. I'm having to do that like so many times. Sorry, that does not look attractive. And I keep having to lean forward just so I can actually see in the viewfinder. Um, <laughs> this lipstick's gonna just drive me nuts for the whole video. <laughs> the sensible side of me says, take the lipstick off now. The other side of me says, well, you purchased it, at least wear it for a half an hour. I know, my brain is battling which side will win. We shall see. It'll be like our little adventure throughout this video, which side's going to win. Okay, so, um, yeah, I really, really like this. Oh, what was I saying? I've been finding the Maybelline Color Show Bleach Neons there still, so if you always have been wanting those, I did send some to my swap girl this summer, and she mentioned that she had never picked any up, so check your big lots. You might find them there.
green, we have a Catrice polish. This is a beautiful greeny blue metallic. However, um, this did need two to three coats, but the color is just stunning. Um, formula wise though, I felt like they could have done better with it. It just was a little bit too watery. This is called Mermaid My Day. Again, Catrice always gets me with their names. Um, not my favorite, but actually if you stay tuned for the um, Virago Varnish review I have coming up very soon, there is a color that just does this exact thing and blows it out of the water. So stay tuned for that if you like how this, you know, kind of makes you feel like it's going to look. <laughs> um, yeah, stay tuned for that Virago Varnish review. So next up we have blue and this is a simple colors blue. I just love simple colors. When I was packing up this last week, I posted on Snapchat. It's, I'm, oh, I only got halfway done. I didn't end up bringing all my polish here. I decided to just bring like a lot of it, but not all of it. <laughs> I just was bringing, I brought all the stuff that I'm currently working on because we decided that we actually are gonna keep the house a little bit longer. Anyway, it's a, it's a long story, but I decided my polishes were going to be safe there and they weren't all gonna explode, so I thought it was fine to just leave them there. So I went, that's a long story. So I went um, last weekend and I was packing up more of the polishes and I have four Helmer drawers, like four and a half full of just simple colors. Um, increased a lot thanks to Kylie Jenner this year, um, but I just love simple colors. That was a long way to get around to me telling you how much I love simple colors. I just think that they're so great. They do it so great for the drugstore. Um, yeah, so this color is just beautiful. It's called Mint To Be Cool and it has, I don't, I don't really think of this as mint, but this is really, really beautiful and it has blue and purple shimmers in there that you do actually see on the nail. So I really did like this one. My purple polish this week turned out to be my A+. It's this that I have on my nails, and it's another budget-friendly polish, and I just, it just, it just killed me. I just loved it. It was so great. So I put in another purple, and this is from Sally Hansen Insta-Dry called Wild Iris. I don't even remember where or when I picked this up, but this is pretty. It's lovely. It's like a, it's like a fuchsia -y purple trying to be metallic, I think. This wasn't, this wasn't necessarily my favorite, but it does have this really interesting dimension because it has lots of gold shimmer in there, so it just has this really nice look on the nail. It's, it's not my favorite way to wear purple, definitely, this kind of purple, but um, yeah, I did really love that shimmer. It looked really cool. I did actually watch some movies this week. I watched Allegiant, and is that the third or the fourth in a Divergent series? Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure they're making another one because they kind of like set it up to where 
there's like a whole bunch of stuff that can happen and you don't know what's going to happen next but all these movies end up feeling the same to me like she's battling against a different enemy in each one and each one has like this plan for the society that she has to like try to fix i don't know i didn't read the books maybe if i read the books i would like it better and then the other one that I watched was Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which I thought was really kind of cute because I like zombies and I like Pride and Prejudice and I thought it was a really cute adaptation. Didn't care for all the um, casting choices, but I thought it was pretty cute. And the other one actually that I rented was My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2, which I'm a huge fan of the original movie. I haven't watched it yet though, so I can't let you know if it's worth your time. <laughs> Sometimes sequels aren't really but um, hopefully I'll remember to let you guys know next week. And um, you guys also let me know in the comments as well. I totally forgot to mention last week, enter the giveaway, even though I'll be playing catch up with that after I move into my house. Cause every, all the swatch tests that I've had, you know, in this temporary time that I'm here, I'm not able to send out um, winnings for it, but I will after I get to the other house. But, um, so yeah, enter the giveaway and don't forget to let me know in the comments all that's going on with your week, um, what movies you watched, Bachelorette, she's down to her final four. And then they gave us this huge cliffhanger where she was gonna let, I shouldn't tell you just in case you watch it, but she was gonna let the guy go that I thought she was gonna pick in the end. I was like, what, you're blowing my mind. And so then he like pulls her aside and he's like, I really do love you. And she's like, I don't know what to do. So much drama. So anyway, let's move along. <laughs> My neutral polish this week comes from Essie, and this is really beautiful taupe. I was surprised I didn't already have this. It looks very similar to like Take It Outside and some, some taupey grays that they already have. This is called Miss Fancy Pants. It has a beautiful application. I loved this. This would have been my A plus probably. I really like the, the red too. Actually, I really liked a lot of things from this week. This could have been an A plus though because I really love good neutral, so I really enjoyed this. My glitter this week comes from Coloris to Carol. I hope you checked out that Beach Boys live review. I thought that whole collection was stunning. Um, this polish is called Hexy Lady. And this looks like it's gonna be like a light purple, but this is a in a clear base, this glitter. And it's really fun. It has light pink, fuchsia pink, very small holographic um, glitters going through there, purple glitters, lots and lots of stuff in here. I'm gonna show it to you on its own, but it is in a sheer base. So unless you use like the spongy method, which you could, um, but I'm actually gonna show it to you also my favorite way to wear, which is over that neutral that I just showed you from Essie. This is really, really pretty. Very feminine and cool, and it's like had just enough pink in it. You know what I mean? It wasn't overwhelming. I really liked it. we have arrived I realized that I look really really super shiny today due to my lighting but I am wearing um, what is it bare minerals complexion rescue which does sometimes make me look a little bit dewier because it's just like um, it's not really a foundation it's kind of like a BB cream or a CC cream and it's basically what I wear when I don't really feel like wearing foundation because it's just like extra moisturizer for my skin with a little tiny bit of tint it's a good foundation if you are dry because this makes me look a little bit dewy and I'm usually just like so dry you can see the scales on my face. Um, so anyway, that's what is on my face. Oh, and I wanted to tell you what's on my eyes. I got one of those four packs from L'Oreal. Let me see if I can find it. 
here it is. I picked this up the same day that I picked up the L'Oreal collection that is coming up for you this next week. Um, this is one of those four packs. It's what I have on my eyes. I used it basically in the way that they say that you should use it. This one is in the Shard Boudoir Charm, number 106. I liked it. I felt like the colors all kind of blended together to make the same kind of color though, which surprised me because there are lots of different looking colors there, but um, yeah, I mean, it was, it was fine. It was fun to work with. I found that the um, kind of coppery shade applied a little bit better when I just patted it on my finger. Okay, so let's talk about my purple shade is my A+. This comes from Benita again. I know I told you guys you should go out and get that orange one. I picked up two more, like I said I was going to, and this is also so, so good. It's really, really good. Okay, so this is called Good Looking Out. I don't remember if this came in another one of their displays. They do kind of like to recycle their polishes in those displays. Um, but I had never picked this up before. It's what I have on my nails today. This is so good. It dries a little bit flat, um, just a little bit. So you could definitely gloss it up if you want to, but this is so good. One coat you could get away with, two coats. It's just so pretty. It's bright. This was like a buck and a quarter. And spoiler alert, this is better than most of the polishes in the L'Oreal collection I'm going to be sharing with you that are this kind of thing. It's like not neons, but it's very, very, they're supposed to be like bright pops of color. And you save, what, more than $5 by just going with the Benita one. They do say right on the display that they're three free, so you don't have to worry about that. They're cruelty free. And they're getting it done for such a good price. And that just rings my bell. You can ring my bell. Sing it with me, ladies. Do you guys like a bargain? Do you guys like, actually, it's not even like they're putting their polishes on sale. They're just giving it to you for a really good price. And they're not being like, oh, we want to take all your monies away. You poor little nail polish hoarders that spend so much money on nail polish. They're giving it to us for a really good price. So I really like me some Benina. Now, don't get me wrong, they don't get it right every single time, but I'm here to tell you that so far the orange and this purple, good looking out, are amazing. I mean, it's really not going to take all your monies away if you just go pick up that whole collection, but I'll probably be featuring more polishes from that collection in next Swatch Fest and maybe the next Swatch Fest. I bet you that they're all pretty darn good. So anyway, this was my A plush of the week, A plush. It was my A plush. Alright guys, so that's all the craziness you get from me today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this filming sesh. I hope you've had some fun hanging out with me today. Thanks for always sending me sweet, good vibes in the comment sections. Letting me know what is going on with your week. That makes me very, very happy. And yeah, I'm just in like a good vibe place right now. I think it helps that the place that I moved to is 20 degrees cooler than Palmdale, California. So I'm not dying of heat right now. So that is a huge thumbs up from me um but yeah i am having a great week i hope you are as well thank you for spending some time with me my polish loves and i will talk to you very soon bye next up we're going to talk about the lightest polish in the collection and there is only one in this collection that's like this this is the only one that has just a tiny bit of shimmer it's just like barely there to where when you have when you're painting it you can see it just a little bit but when it's on your nail you really don't see it all it does is make the